Well, hi stamping friends, it's Jackie Ballheis from Clump and Stampers. I have a very different kind of video for you today, something several of you have asked me to do, and that's a tour of my stamp room. And along the way, I'm gonna show you the way I store and organize some of my products. I thought I would do it today because I've actually spent all day cleaning, so I'm not too embarrassed to, to show you around. So what I'm gonna do is flip the camera around and we're gonna kind of go section by section of my room so that I can really show you how I store things, how I organize things, and, and hopefully that'll give you a little peek into my world. So let me flip the camera around and let's get started. We'll just start by going around in a circle and I'll show you kind of all the parts of my room and what they store. So this is my filing cabinet. On the top of it, you'll see a couple of paper cutters and my scoring board. But this is, I guess, kind of my pride and joy as far as organization. I love my paper drawer. So there is all my eight and a half by 11 cardstock. It's all stored, every color has its own file. Hopefully I don't get you seasick moving you around like this. But you'll see there's a file for every color. And then in each file, I will have, let's come back here. A lot of times I'll have a full pack that I haven't even opened yet. And then I'll have my full sheets. And then in front of that, I'll have either some card bases that are already cut or any smaller pieces. So they're all stored right there in the same file. Now we'll go ahead and we'll move over to the bookcase. So right next to the filing cabinet there, I have my bookcase, and this is what stores all of my stamps on it. So right now they're somewhat organized. You can see the rubber bands and the framelits. I kind of have switched around quite often, but lately I've been storing the framelits with the stamp set. I found that's just easier for me. Rubber band them together, and then I keep them in alphabetical order but they're kind of separated. So everything up on that top shelf, we'll back up here, those are all the ones that, everything's current, but those are the ones that were not new in this catalog. And then when I move down a shelf, these are the stamps that are new in this catalog. And then down one more shelf, we have our card kits. This little box right here, this is all the stuff that's brand new in the occasions catalog, and then some background stamps. And then if we come all the way down to the bottom, this is where I store my designer series paper. And I'll go ahead and pull one of those out and show that to you. My 12 by 12 designer series paper is stored in these file um, boxes that are made for 12 by 12s. And then I have these, it's almost like a 12 by 12 envelope. And I'll have the link in the blog post for these to show you them. But that's how I keep each of the papers. I've got the full sheets in here along with any scraps or smaller pieces. And then all of those fit really nice inside the, the file box here. So you can see each one of these is a different paper. So that's the 12 by 12 designer series paper. And then if I come over here, this is where I store my six by six designer series paper. So this is a wooden box from Stampin' Storage, I believe it's called. And then I made these little dividers. These are just file folders that I cut down to size. They're plastic, so they're pretty durable. And then in here, I just have a section for, you can see there's glimmer paper. There's all the different six by six papers that are stored in there. So that works really good for that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I kind of jumped into the middle of the counter, but we're gonna start over at the end and work our way down the counter so you can see everything. So here at the beginning, I have my big shot. I have a couple more of those boxes. I have my dies in them and all my folders in them. You can see there's my big shot brush. And then along the wall there, I have, they're actually towel rods. I believe that came from Ikea. I've had them forever and ever, but that's what stores my punches. And then right above that are rain gutters. And that's how I store my ribbon. I like this for the ribbon because they're not on a dowel or anything. They're just all sitting there so I can easily take them out and use them. And then this counter, there's another paper cutter. I've got all kinds of paper cutters. I use different ones all the time. But then we can you just walk around here and you can see it's just a counter. Um, if I back up just a little bit, you can see I've got cupboards up above, that's all storage. We've got more ribbon over here. I've got my old, old little turntable. I think that came from Pampered Chef years ago where I store all those essential tools that I use all the time. 
And then I like to stand when I stamp. So I have the counter at counter height there. That's where I stand to do all my creating. And you can see I've got my ink pad and Stampin' Blends organizers over there. So that's kind of the hub of everything between the markers and the pads and the inks to all the other essential tools. You know, I can stand and everything's pretty close. It's pretty easy to get to everything. And just for fun, I'll back off all the way to here. You can see the bookshelf and the paper cutter in the background. That's where we started. And then there's my table where I shoot all my videos. I have a designated table because it makes it so much easier. I don't have to set up and take down all the time. So I'm all set up to shoot a video. And now you know where I stand and what it looks like. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little peek into my world. Um, this is where I spend countless hours I love to stamp, I love to design and create, and then you even saw where I'm standing to do the videos. So I hope you liked that. I hope maybe you picked up a few organizational tips. Make sure that you pop over to the website because I'll have pictures and some links of some of the products I do use to help um, organize and store things in case you want to follow suit. Any questions, as always, make sure to ask me. I love to chat with you. I love to share Stampin' Up! with you. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like a catalog, let me know because I'd love to send you one. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.